do not make YouTube your only source of income, especially when you're now starting. Unless you are a millionaire and have money in your pocket and you don't need to work. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Chocolate and Chit Chat. Today I want to discuss becoming monetized, countries that aren't allowed to be monetized on YouTube and how to get to the step of receiving uh, one of these envelopes in the mail. So that is where we're going to stop today. As we go along, we will continue the process as to what to do with the information in this mail to get the monetization going on your YouTube channel. All right, so let's get started. My dogs is very much so misbehaving at the moment. So that is why I keep looking out because they're ready to eat so they're crying. They don't bark, they just, cr they just literally cry when they want food. Like cry. Oy, oy, oy. So um, I want to discuss, as I said, what to do before we receive this mail and then our next chit chat video would be discussing what we would do with a pin in this mail all right so you want to start a youtube channel you have you're not living in none of these countries here right you're not living anywhere within these countries you're living in the countries that youtube doesn't recognize for monetization right watching this video thinking about starting a youtube channel you want long term to make money all right so as i was saying before i was interrupted because i really had to step out to feed the dogs um, your long term goal is to make money on youtube right so i would strongly suggest if your goal is to make money on youtube let not youtube paycheck be your only source of income because you would be causing unnecessary problems for yourself trust me because that paycheck isn't like this like cock and you know you're getting it you're sure you're getting the same amount every month and that kind of thing no it don't work so at all at all you have to work very hard to work your channel to bring in a stable revenue every single month all right so let's not stray too much on what the topic is about it's about you the countries here that is allowed to be monetized on youtube and what is the process what you should do my strong suggestion to you if you have a YouTube channel, uh, put one video there, a little introduction as to who you are, what your YouTube channel will be about, and that kind of thing. And I strongly also suggest that you be consistent with your videos. Don't create unrealistic goals for yourself when you're now starting off YouTube and you know you wouldn't be able to live up to those commitments that you make to your viewers that would not be right so you want to give them a realistic upload schedule that you know that you could keep up to and it wouldn't interfere with your day-to-day -day life and would not have your subscribers like so we are getting nothing and you know they've been turned off and they will just unsubscribe or just not watch your, your content that is not what, what you want so i would strongly suggest at least post two videos a week but when you're now starting your main goal is to have that introduction video about your channel and you and where you want this to go and you want to share that video as much as you possibly can social media family friends another great thing to do is to go and watch other content creators 
who is doing the same thing that you're doing, that type of content that you intend to put out for your viewers and for everyone else who, in, who would watch and think about subscribing to your channel, I would strongly suggest that you watch those types of uh, channels. So now when you go to those channels, it's important to leave comments, not just for the content creator, but the content creator, subscribers and viewers. So you're not going there and drop your link. No, that is very bad. You're not going there and say, please subscribe to my channel. No, that is horrible. What you're going there to do, technically telling them, the content creator and his or her viewers in a technical way that you have a YouTube channel. For instance, you go to their channel, you watch their video. Now, as I said, when you're starting off, watch videos that is similar to what you intend to put out on your channel, right? So you watch that video and you will say, make a comment. This is just a suggestion. Eh? You will make a comment like, I really, really like this. I think I would really try something like this on my channel. Thanks so much. I love this idea. I will try it and I will tag in it if it's okay. You're asking the permission and a technique. You know, if, now, so I would do that sometimes, but I am really real about my comment. I would want to try it, and I not because I want them to go to my channel, but because I really like what I'm watching. But I'm simply saying to you who now starting up, it's a good way instead of dropping your link or telling people go to your channel. Because I, I, I just don't like that. You, in a technical way, you're telling this content creator, you have a channel, please check out my channel. You're also telling his or her viewers to also do the same by leaving a comment like that. So, you know, you're, you're generating traffic to your channel. So that is a good way to do, to do that. Keep watching videos like that in the same line that you want to to um, have on your channel that same set of videos so you know this is the direction you want to go in your channel this is the type of videos you're going to watch because that's the traffic you want on your channel yes all right and sub for sub no it might be okay because you want to get your 1000 subscribers by the end of the day when you get your 1000 subscribers you will have issues but I say, let's go step by step here. And I will tell you why I say that will cause issues for you long term, the sub to sub situation. So, all right, you have your one video, your share. And as I say, you put at least two videos for the week. Realistic goals, that is your aim here. Realistic goals for posting your videos. Because you don't want to get your viewers bored and you don't want them to feel like this ma this this person that posted no videos is me wasting my time you know so you don't want to do that then you so your main goal here is to get your 1000 subscribers and your 4000 watch time that is your main goal here to to get those two things and as i said do not when you're trying to do that do not do sub for sub because you're going to suffer in the long run because you want people who are subscribing to your channel to watch your videos beyond your 1000 watch uh subscribers and your 4000 watch time you want viewers to keep watching your video in order to generate traffic on your channel and to make money on your channel because if you don't have views on your channel you won't get sponsors all right so they want to generate the right set of traffic to your channel and that is the people who would be interested in what you are putting out and do that to sub for sub it does not work long term because you just want to get your 1000 views your 1000 subscribers are your 4000 views right um so that is your goal to watch videos similar to what you intend to put out for your viewers also you want to gain your 4000 watch time and once that has started you you're when you're living in the countries that youtube approve monetization once you're on that list of countries 
everything step by step is a step by step process it's not bam 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 and everything no it, it takes time so don't get fed up with the process it might be like oh this thing taking long but don't get fed up at the end of the day as i said do not let youtube paycheck be your only source of income because you're going to see trouble especially when you're now starting youtube no don't do it you would be in a lot of trouble financially so don't go and quit your job okay i get monetized now so i could not quit my job. no no unless you have almost fifty thousand subscribers and you bringing in more than let me say a million views right or oh, fifty thousand views you ain't gonna bring in no sort of money you understand what i'm saying you ain't bring in no sort of money so please do not go and quit your job because you get monetized all right uh your long goal every youtuber when they get this this mail they feel so excited it don't matter if whether or not you know yeah <laughs> you're not all there any numbers yet but you see once you receive this thank you it is feel so accomplished because you know you work hard for this so it is a good feeling and YouTube is a lot of work. It's not no play. It's not no easy money. YouTube money is not a e is not easy. It's a lot of hard work and sleepless nights and tired fingers, a lot of head headaches. You know, and don't worry when you're now starting. Don't study the fancy camera, the fancy light. Use your if you have a vlogger, use the natural light that you have. If you're somebody who's doing sit-down videos, use the natural light, open your windows, move the curtains. If you're like me who doing a lot of um, cooking videos, I would use the light in my kitchen and the windows, you know, just move the curtain and let the natural light come in. That is how I, I started. Don't go and spend money that you don't have or if you have, you're, you're just using out your money that you have. On camera and light you don't need to let YouTube pay for YouTube you understand so as you continue to grow and start to make money let that money that you're making from YouTube fund the things that you need for YouTube and if you get a place where you're financially stable in YouTube working really hard and bringing in that money from advertisers and sponsorship then you know you do what you have to do if you want to quit your job that is totally up to you because you know you have your views you have your subscribers you have the money that it would take to run your household run youtube do what you have to do to survive every day of the year 365 days for the rest of your life or however long you intend to continue doing youtube do not make youtube your only source of income especially when you're now starting unless you are a millionaire and have money in your pocket and you don't need to work that is totally different, all right? But even the richest of the richest is doing YouTube these days. And I don't think it's for the money, you know, it's just about just doing YouTube to, to gain supporters and fans and that kind of thing. And, and just to educate people because YouTube is an educating platform. It's about educating people. And yes, it might have some drama once in a while, but that's not what YouTube is about. YouTube is about educating and teaching, teaching people to do stuff, you know? So I do hope step one of my monetization chit chat videos was helpful to you, the individual that is thinking about starting YouTube. One, do not, do not quit your job if you're thinking about starting YouTube. Two, <laughs> Is starting YouTube, please put at least one video, an introductory video, introductory video about yourself and what your channel is about. Three, go to YouTube videos that would be doing things that you know that you would be doing on your channel. That is the traffic that you want. To generate to your channel when you're now starting because you want to build your views and you want to build your subscribers so those are the two things when you're now starting off a youtube channel if you intend to be monetized and to make money long term on youtube 
so again if you're a vlogging channel watch a lot of vlogging content comment but do not leave comments stating that you have a youtube channel please check out my youtube channel that kind of stuff don't leave no links just simply make comments as a, the following i like i like this i think i would try this on my channel i was inspired by this i really think i would add this if you don't mind to my to my uh content on my channel already dear you're letting the content creator know you have a youtube channel you're already letting the content creator subscribers and viewers who are even not subscribed to their channel know that you have a youtube channel and would want to go across to your channel and watch and don't just watch one time constantly watch their videos so they're constantly seeing you on their channel so they know that you are a true supporter so automatically when you're leaving similar comments like that constantly on their channel they will eventually come across and check you out right and subscribe to your channel what you want there is your views and your subscriber count to go up yes four do not do sub for sub when you're starting youtube you're going to suffer do not let youtube money be your only source of income as i said do not quit your job previously do not quit your job for youtube money you will cry you will cry especially if you have a family don't do it let youtube pay for youtube in the future when you sense that when you continue to grow your channel and you continue to bring in the money use that money to source whatever you need to do your youtube videos don't dip into your pocket to fund youtube in the beginning it might have to if you're doing cooking channels and well, mostly vlogs you don't really have to dip in your pocket for too much of stuff but like for cooking channels people who like cooking like myself and want to start a youtube channel obviously they have to dip into their own pockets to start right but once you get monetized you use that money to fund youtube and let youtube pay for youtube and once it starts to roll youtube money will pay for youtube business okay and five patience patience is a virtue don't give up work hard Push your videos, push your content, be consistent with your with your uploads. You know, always let people know what you're doing and how your days that you're doing it. Keep pushing that information information out there so that people would know when you're uploading, what you're uploading, what your channel is about. Stay consistent. And the next episode we will discuss when you do all what is required for your youtube channel to get going monetize monetization wise we're going to discuss what's in this envelope and what do you do with the information in this envelope to move on to the next step next step to bring in your youtube paycheck all right so thanks so much for watching another episode of chocolate and chit chat i hope this was very helpful to you do have an awesome Wednesday and may the rest of your week be blessed and highly favored. Stay safe. Bye. The last thing someone who is going through depression needs is judgment.